Hey mamas, papas, and everyone in the crew, welcome to today's video. Now listen, I don't know about your kids, I probably do know about your kids, but let's talk about Coco Melon. Yeah, that Coco Melon. And for my son's birthday slash Christmas, his Gigi and Papa got him two toys from the Coco Melon universe. And so I'm going to be doing a product review of them because we want to make sure that we go over the things that I love, the things that I don't, and the things that I wish they would do for the future. There is no Coco Melon slander in this video. Coco Melon has done amazing things for my son and his development, but we do need to go over the things with their toys. And so I'm gonna be doing that for you. So if you're interested in buying toys for Coco Melon, the first is the Learn With Me JJ toy, and the other is the Let's Sing Along book. So let's jump right into it. All right, so let's start with this doll. This is the JJ Learn With Me and he pretty much talks. So um, Noah really likes this because it's almost like he has like a friend in the house. Noah's the only child. So besides Cooper, our dog, he doesn't really have anything else like more lifelike that resembles him. So he really likes the JJ. And so JJ talks, so I'm gonna press all the different parts. So his feet talk, his hands talk, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna press the cube. All right, so now we're gonna press the foot. And there's my first issue. What is up with the foot, Coco Melon? The one, two foot don't work, man. I'm pressing the crap out of this and it don't work. Man. A is for apple. B is for ball. C is for cow. And this hand don't work neither, man. And I'm really kind of sad because two out of the four compartments, they don't work. So I don't even know what the one, two, three would do if it would count. I'm assuming it would. And I don't know if he's playing on the latest hits and the jams on this hand, on his uh, left hand. But those are like my immediate gripes with it. I don't remember if both feet were out. Cause sometimes when you buy toys like in the store and people, you know, especially kids are constantly like playing like, oh, try me. So I don't know if that's the reason why the one, two, three foot and his little boom box don't work. That's really disappointing. Noah presses these two all the time because he's expecting them to make noise and it don't make no noise, Coco Melon. Dang, homie. The batteries were already included, so as soon as you get it, he starts talking. Obviously, it's in his back of what would need to happen. Oh my God. Oh my God, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. We have just discovered what the issue was. So when you first get your toy, and I'm glad I'm doing this on video so y'all can see in real time, in the back, right? I'm gonna adjust the camera so that you can see. In the back, there are three different little tabs. So when we first got him, it was on the Try Me tab. And if you turn it all the way on, the toy will work. I don't know if you knew that, but I didn't know that. And that's why I do these things in real time so that you can see. So now his little hand work. <laughs> All right, JJ, you're cool with me. So now that I know, just be mindful when you first get the toy, it is on Try Me. You have to open his back, change it from Try Me to On, and all of the buttons work, okay? And now that I'm, you know, thinking through this more, it's probably a good thing because like I said, if they 
have the toys in the store with like the feet and stuff exposed and kids are constantly like and I like that too. I like that it actually cuts off automatically. I think more and more toys are doing that now where if you don't engage with it for a certain amount of time, it will cut off automatically. So I like that. But so the initial gripe that I had that the, the like this didn't work and the toe didn't work, I gotta take that back because it works. You just have to go in the back, switch it from try on to on and it will start working. It's easy to clean like his head because if your child's teething, of course, drool gets all over it he usually will eat with this next to him at his little table i did a product review on a toddler table that my husband and i got for him so i will link that here so you can check that out he usually will Let's sit play again soon. thank you Bye -bye. all right <laughs> he usually will sit at the table with jj and eat so that's really good so the initial issue i had with the toy i gotta you know bring it back i don't have no issue with the toy <laughs> noah will be excited when he comes home and see that the toy is working in its entirety let's get into the book this is the let's all sing together coco melon book now if you are a coco melon family like i'm sure you are then this book has all of like the top five songs that they play the most in their TV series. And what I like about it is that you press the button and it actually goes along with, like you press the ABC and it actually goes along with the ABC. So what I like about the book is that it includes all the characters that are most uh, popular in the series. So you have Nina over here, she's uh, Hispanic. Cece's Asian, of course, Jojo, he Caucasian. Cody, he the brother, and I'm not sure what Bella is. She has a little tan in her, which makes me think that she, you know, is not completely Caucasian, but these are like the five characters that you'll see most often. And I think representation is so important. So I'm really glad that throughout the book, even though, you know, JJ's the focus, throughout the book, you'll see like Cody getting his shine on, you'll see Bella, you know, you see Cece, you see JJ. I like that they have made the book as inclusive as they could. I like that. I like that it shows all the main characters so that your kids are really familiar with it. And it sings all of the popular songs from the show. So I like that too. And I like that you can flip the page and they can click whatever song they want. Like Noah really likes the Dino song with Cody. But I think that's also too based on like just, you know, representation, you know, Noah's black, Cody's black. So I just think that's super important. And I wish that they would kind of flesh out if you're listening to Coco Melon, flesh it out so that you give more of a backstory to all of the popular characters. I think that's another cool thing. They have a YouTube channel and I know sometimes their YouTube channel will focus on like Cody. I have seen Nina be a focus of an episode or two, but really even flushing it out with Cece and Bella because their, you know, representation matters. I like that the book is made out of cardboard because I don't know if you, if you're not a parent and you're watching this, kids eat paper, they will chew on your books. So the fact that this is cardboard, they know what they was doing, that it's a little harder for them to chew on it. It's the letters and words are really big for them. They can, Noah presses the buttons all the time. He sings most of the songs. He's very familiar with it. So I really like that for this book. I do wish that you could kind of adjust the volume a little bit. It's a little soft for me, but overall, it's a good book. I really like the book. I like that it's in cardboard. I like that they have easy access to what press whatever songs they want to play and that they pick the songs that most of the time Noah is trying to sing when they're up on the screen singing anyway. So bravo to Coco Melon with this book. And it, it already comes with the battery. So as soon as you purchase the book, it'll play for you. I wish they gave you like an extra pair of batteries, but like I said, I get it when it comes to like toys and things like that, just being very mindful, like batteries can catch fire and stuff. But like I said, overall, this is a good book. If you're looking to start purchasing product for your baby, 
I like the book. And then of course the JJ, we solved the issue with him not speaking. <laughs> so I'm gonna list in the description box below where you can find both products. I believe one came from Target and the other one came from Amazon. It was gifted to Noah, so I'm not exactly sure where they got it, but I do know I have seen the actual JJ in Target, and I believe the book you can find online if you wanted to. I will link all the details where you can find that in the description box below. Like I do with most of my videos, I always go over just general specs. Even though this was gifted to us, I do wanna go over just a few specs. So JJ is called the Coco Melon Learning JJ Doll. And it's an interactive doll that looks just like JJ. It uses music, sounds, it has 50 phrases to encourage children to learn their letters, numbers, and color recognition. Four interactive buttons. You could press his hand to learn the colors. The radio plays songs and his foot does the numbers and counting. This also helps to strengthen the child parent bond by playing alongside with your child to create new experiences to develop core learning and social skills through engaging playing. I mentioned this in another video, but we are really focusing on buying toys that are going to be educational as opposed to just toys that are just fun. There are a lot of toys that have no purpose behind them, like you can buy toy cars, Hot Wheels, things like that, but we really wanna buy toys that have both the exploration play component to it as well as toys that teach our son how to learn and speak and develop language. The toy also helps to develop fine motor skills, reading, talking, cognitive learning, social emotional skills, and creativity with the early learning toy. It requires two AAA batteries, but it's already included. And Coco Melon for the JJ recommend for kids who are 18 months and older. I personally think you should wait till they're two because at 18 months, they're still kind of looking like, what is this? And by the time they're two, they're a lot more interested in learning and toys that are going to be providing that for them. Now we're gonna do just an overall product details of the Let's Sing Together cardboard book and again the details for all of this is in the description box below so you sing along to the favorite songs from coco melon the lyrics for each song are accompanied by the coco melon friends and artwork with the matching audio button to play the tune pushing the buttons help the little ones to develop fine motor skills and singing builds early literacy skills it's perfect for all coco melon fans it's recommended for children who are two and seven and i would agree i think that this is the perfect age with Noah being two to have this type of book because they're a lot more inquisitive about things and I don't think getting the book earlier would serve a purpose for him. Of course, I would recommend both products for your child. I mean, Coco Melon, like I said, has done a lot for my son's just overall development he's learning how to talk he sings with the television show because of the tone i think it was i think there was like a study done about Coco Melon, like why it's so addictive to children. And I think it's a lot has to do with the repetition, the tone of voice that everybody talks in, and just the fact that like JJ and the things that they do on the show are really common of what someone who was like two to four would really do. So I would definitely get it. I think Coco Melon overall is doing the, the children's work of development for kids his age group. So I would definitely get it. I would, like I mentioned before, just make sure that the toy you change it from try me to on so that all of the buttons click on. I understand why they did that. I, I just, I didn't even think to do that in the back. So make sure you do that if you get the toy. And I'm just really excited now to let Noah see jo uh, JJ working in his full capacity. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you part of the crew. For more information about everything that I discussed in this video, make sure to check out the description box below for the toys that I mentioned, as well as the other videos that I mentioned in this video for you to watch as well. Make sure to visit my blog, according to april.com, for all things related to motherhood, toddler development, and baby products. And make sure to join the waitlist for my motherhood course that I have coming out 
relatively soon. It's gonna help all you mothers out there who are struggling if you should decide to go back into corporate America or if you should be a stay at home mom. This course is going to help you work through all the fields. So I'm gonna put my wait list in the description box for you below. And until next time, take care, bye.